from that experience, it, it allowed me to really uh, take initiative and to uh, go on the healing path because I had to start with healing myself. So Tanya, <clears throat> what exactly do you do? I'm extremely passionate about helping people to align uh, their body, mind and spirit by creating custom package so they can really step into their soul's purpose and fulfill their missions on this planet. So let's start with body. Yes, so I am an entrepreneur, I forge an entrepreneur relationship with Arbonne International, so I really educate people on the importance of using pure, safe and beneficial products. So mind, I am a certified trilotherapy and life coach, so I really help people to break down their self-limiting beliefs, dismantle them, things that are holding them back from truly fulfilling their passions or dreams in this lifetime. And then of course, the spirit, you yes. Got it. So um, my partner, uh, Matt Welke and I, we both teach Reiki from Sacred Awakenings. Um, so I'm the co-founder and he is as well. And what we're really passionate about is helping people to empower people to know that they can heal themselves through Reiki. Um, we do crystal healing, we do sound therapy. Uh, we do a lot of things in the community. We work with the spiritual and uh, yoga community. So we're really passionate about just, um, you know, having people really tap into their true divinity that a lot of people have a hard time meditating uh, come to our classes because it's very healing for them. It helps to help them to quiet the mind so they can meditate and it helps to build, bring new neural pathways in the brain. Um, so this is wonderful and this is beautiful and I can feel your energy. I mm -hmm. can feel that this is what you were meant to do. It's so evident. But how did you get here? Well, very interesting. My past career, I was a professional dancer and I worked in the film and entertainment industry. So I've done modeling, acting, stunt work, you name it. I was a DJ, a uh, very creative artist. And that uh, brought me, uh, I used to tour around the world. So I was on a contract overseas for one year that extended for five. Mm. And since I was there, I was able to stop and really immerse myself into spiritual practice. And this is something that I've known since I was very young. I've had a connection to spirit. I mean, we all do, but I was the opportunity to really explore my gifts. I had a very traumatic experience um, when I was overseas. I was uh, drugged and raped and um, from that experience it actually it's opened up the door to incredible life that I'm living now. So I'm very very grateful for the experience but obviously at the time it was extremely traumatic and I was in a spiritual crisis. A spiritual crisis? What does, what does that look like? What is that? You're essentially raising your vibration. So the things that no longer serve you anymore are leaving you. So I had a breakup. I had so many different things that happened in a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. And then I also had um, the, the trauma that I experienced. And I knew for me, the spiritual crisis was a wake up call. And this wake up call is something I've had for you know different periods of my life as I was performing, I knew that I needed to give something more of myself. I just didn't know what that was. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you ignore the call, it gets louder and louder and louder until something like this occurs. From that experience, it, it allowed me to really uh, take initiative and to uh, go on the healing path because I had to start with healing myself. Um, so I had the opportunity to um, train for So You Think You Can Dance um, and something that's been very, very passionate to joy of mine. However, I was um, depressed. Mm. I couldn't get out of bed for weeks on end and everything that was blossoming in my, in my life and everything I've worked towards seemed to slip from my grip because I was dealing with this trauma mm -hmm. and I had to face it even though I was running away from it immersing myself in different things I had to really face it uh, so uh, my contract ended uh, when I was overseas and uh, I was studying NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, and my coach said to me, well, why are you still here? Why are you still here overseas trying to create a life? You know, go home and start over again. You're away from your solid support system. Mm -hmm. And that was my light bulb moment. And funny enough, my contract had ended within two days from that. So I came back to Canada to start my life over and I was really focused on healing myself. So I immersed myself into even more yoga, uh, more meditation. And I just kept asking the question, why? What was the purpose? What was the gift? What was the lesson? What was the blessing in this experience? Mm -hmm. And so I, for me, I was able to understand that 
This was my part of my journey. This is part of the cosmic order. And um, for me, it was about finding the power to heal myself and finding uh, you know, the power of forgiveness and to look at things from a higher perspective and truly know that everything's happening in, um, in, in the way that it's meant to. And so um, from that, I was able to really break free from my self-limitations, uh, lack of self-worth, and uh, forgive my attacker. Um, and really step into a new realm of like forgiveness, liberation, and freedom. And uh, the thing I realized was when you, you, you take your biggest wound and you make it your biggest power. And for me, that was the power of healing myself. But not only that, I was able to go out and help other people to do the same. Unless there's something that's really profound that you want to like, nope. Oh. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's, okay. it's just natural. I know. <laughs> I've never had somebody do that so many times. Don't move the chair, okay? <laughs> like, put your hands in your put your hands in your <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos and want to join us on our ride of our web series Life of a Producer, then like and subscribe here. Right here. That's right. You got it. <laughs>